I would like to call upon stage uh, Sir Benjamin Zebras, Administrative Head of Edith Douglas Higher Secondary School, for the welcome speech and keynote. Respected Sri James A. Songate, Respected Diakon Kagunna Rongmei, Expeditionary Officer, I. Binod Singh, Retired Headmaster, Human Rights Activist, and Social Worker, Mr. Sudhir Dev, Social Worker. Chairman of Lakhipur Municipal Board, Mr. Mirnal Kanti Das, Circle Officer Jonathan Baipe, Burak Valley Hills Council Chairman Gideon Thomlin, BC Chairman Markolin, Pu Ngama Mar, Mr. Samajit Chakravarti, Assistant. Vice Principal of uh, All High School, <coughs> Mr. Anjanath, Principal of All High School, Mr. Himanish Pukaista, Principal of Nehru Higher Secondary School, Mr. Gideon of Asapali School, Mr. Tarun Sinha of Asapali School, and all the other dignitaries and our ex. Uh, principal and principal of uh, Emmanuel Higher Secondary School, Mrs. Uruis Racing, and all my friends, my colleagues, ex alumni, all the students, respected teachers, and the managing committee members, and everyone, I welcome you all warmly uh, to this function. Uh, we are celebrating the 50th anniversary of our school. Uh, we are also thankful uh, for all the parents who have come here to grace this occasion. We warmly welcome you all. We thank you for all being part of this uh, function. We wanted to have a greater grand function, but uh, we are limited with the resources that we have. So. I thank you all for coming to this function. And now I'd like to throw a small glimpse of the past history of this school. My late father, late Reverend A.D. Devdas, founder and co-founder, late Mrs. Mary Elizabeth, founded this school on the principle of service, love and wisdom. The motto was service to mankind, service to the poorer classes, and with love of Christ, and in part while imparting wisdom, we have the privilege that Eddie Douglas School took oath in 2nd June of 1972. Back then, you could just imagine how the school was like, there was no education, the government sector was weak, there was no, like the government nowadays is very proactive. But then, those days, the government had, there was no proper education system, so much of corruption in the system. Like Jawaharlal Nehru said in 1947, we are traced with destiny. We had nothing, we had no foundation. The education sector was rebuilt, everything was to be rebuilt from scratch. The British took away all our wealth. And here we are. And when we, uh, my father and mother came here, it was no lights, no electricity. And in this, situation we saw that education many of us left out from the education system hence the need to build a school we had the privilege of being the first english medium school 
in the entire Lakhipur subdivision. Initially, this school was started for the orphans, exclusively targeting the orphans of the Marpolin area, of the Manipur, Manipur like uh, South District area, covering some parts of Mizoram. So we were targeting all these three uh, states, neighboring states, orphans from those uh, poor, poor uh, peop, uh, area should, used to come flock to our orphanage. For them, this school was started. And naturally, it gradually was opened up for the paying students so that we could uh, cater to a larger section of the society. Thereby, Edith Douglas could, took oath illuminating the banks of the Bark River with hopes, foundation, expectation, and pride providing English medium education to all the masses. There were times that my parents struggled to pay the salaries of the school teachers. My dad never wanted to borrow money from anyone. But here, my mother could not see that teachers are not being paid. She used to run to the Kabaliwala and borrow money to pay the salaries. And here we end up with debts. So this has been the way that we had. And God has been kind to us. We had been able to run this. Though my parents are not alive today, yet they may be proud to see the school is still standing and we are moving forward. And all the schools which have come after us have been some way or the other connected to us. There were teachers here who later formed schools and we encourage because the, it, uh, we cannot limit our school education to one area. There is room for everyone for, to grow. It's a healthy competition. As long as we have a healthy competition, I think it's fine. And we can expound the boundaries, the horizons of education. There's a lot more to do. There's a lot more to go. There's a lot more to uh, go forward. So together we work for the education community to take this education forward in a more higher level, you can say. Till now, we have, we, if we compare it to the cities, there's a lot of gaps. Those gaps we are full, trying to fulfill. We could, you, uh, the parents can be assured that we are trying to build the future of our nation. In our school, we specially focus on diversity. That is what the picture of India is all about, that we are diverse. from different communities, without any regard to language, caste, or creed, we serve everyone. We are happy to have you all come to this function. I also, once again, like to re repeat our guest of honor, Mr. James Anthony Songate. Thank you for coming to and gracing this uh, occasion. Last but not the least, we go move forward from here to build a future of our nation and to give a better future to all the student community. Like, I also want to relate one thing, like last year we wanted to start coaching for NEET and IIT from class 6 level but we could not find a single student who is capable of taking those coaching classes not even one so that is the gap that is remaining between the cities and our local Lakhipur subdivision we are trying to fulfill those gaps we need to take education to a higher level I'll urge all my 
uh, co-competitors to build the level up, we take the level forward. That is where we need to compete with cities. We should see our children getting employment. Employment generation is important to improve the economic levels of this area. Together we work together and to together we take this forward. Thank you.